today is sort of like a typical day in your life, except for the, well, this is the one day that you go live and, and aside from that. So what are some of the things that are happening in your world? Like as far as the business goes, because not every day is going to be, you know, a hundred thousand dollar profitable deal closing. Uh, and sometimes I think people need to understand you've got to, you know, get up to the plate and take the swings and see what happens. So what's going on? Well, one thing that's going on today that goes on every day and it needs to go on every day in a successful real estate investors world. And that is having consistent leads from sellers of properties that are wanting to sell their houses or sell their property. And the reason I say that is because unless a real estate investor has daily, every day, um, leads coming in, prospective sellers interested in selling their houses and properties, then you're really not in business. So what's going on today? Well, we've got leads coming in yesterday. We had leads coming in now in today's environment and economy. We are not relying on seller leads coming to us from the multiple listing service. The reason for that is because not only here in Eastern North Carolina, but all across the nation, inventory is very, very low. It's a very, very hot market. It is a seller's market. And so, you know, if a house is listed in the multiple listing service with a realtor, then everybody knows about it. I mean, that goes the same as for even bank owned properties or REOs. So since that's the case, we are focusing big time these days on locating, and we do it in various ways on locating potential sellers from what we call off market houses. What an off market house is, is, it's a house that is not listed with the realtor community. It's not in the multiple listing service, but this is what we would call a for sale by owner or a FISBO. However, most of the leads that we get, the people don't even have a for sale by owner sign in their front yard. So how do we find these? Well, you know, there's, you know, if, since it's low inventory, like if someone sells their house and they're going to stay in the same area, well, where are they going to move to? There's nowhere to move to because there's no inventory. So our seller leads that are coming in these days are primarily coming from, uh, it could be an, a, an estate, it could be probate. So the owner of the property passed away. And so now there's heirs to the property and the heirs don't have a need for the house. So uh, that's a consistent source that we have of leads these days. Uh, in addition to that, it could be someone that's moving out of the area. Um, a house that we just closed on last week, that was their motivating factor. Uh, they're moving down to Georgia. Uh, the house needs some repairs. They didn't want to put any money in the house. So uh, they responded to one of our Facebook ads. So Facebook ads is a consistent source of having leads coming in. We're also running Google ad campaigns. Those are the best leads because those people are actually searching for us. They're typing in Google, uh, you know, need to sell my house fast or something like that. So uh, in addition to having consistent seller leads coming in, Scott, when you ask what's going on in my world today, well, you know, as you said, not every day is a hundred thousand dollar day. I mean, this morning, uh, my team, my team is my realtor and my um, contractor went and looked at a house in a very, very nice neighborhood here in Moorhead city. And uh, I just got a call on the way back, uh, you know, getting back here to the office from uh, my contractor. He says, Jay, this house looks good. It's very, very uh, not much rehab to it. But in that case, I'm still waiting on the numbers. Uh, the realtor went to get his final opinion on the after repair value. So I'll be hearing from my realtor uh, probably later today. I'll be hearing from my general contractor with all the budget. And then I'll be figuring out, well, what's the person, what's their asking price. We've already got that information. So maybe that'll be a deal. Maybe it won't. We looked at another house over in Havelock yesterday on Kenneth Boulevard. And um, I wish the seller had told us that's a tear down. I mean, that house can't even be rehabbed. It's in such bad shape. So, I mean, there's like no offer going to be on that house. 